Starfield is coming out on September 6th, people. Yes, just about a month. Now, I'm very pumped for the game, but I do have to be honest, I was pretty bummed they didn't mention co-op for the game since crossplay is something we focus on in the channel. Of course, they could add it later, but I won't get my hopes up. Now, this isn't what I'm really concerned about, though. The overall game performance is my overall concern. I believe Starfield will be the next cyberpunk. What do I mean? Let's blast off. Do you remember when Cyberpunk was released? Everyone and their mother had problems playing this game, especially on older generation consoles. You know what platform didn't have that many problems? Stadia. It was at that time when the gaming world was shocked that a cloud gaming platform could handle a AAA game better than consoles or even people's custom PCs. It was truly a flagship time for cloud gamers everywhere. Of course, Stadia is no more, and Cyberpunk has fixed many of its problems, but I have a feeling we'll be getting a very similar launch with Starfield. Why? Let me explain. Now, if you're like me, the warning signs should have went off in your head pretty fiercely when they said that the console version is limited to 30 FPS, even the Series X and S versions. Massive red flag. Steam has the Starfield recommended system requirements using an RTX 2080, but of course, Steam has the recommended system requirements for Cyberpunk using a GTX 1060, and we all know that's pure trash. An RTX 2080 is quite the jump, and seeing that these recommended settings are usually low, PC users are going to have a tough time playing this game at 60 FPS, especially at 4K. Plus, with the way new releases are going, I don't expect Starfield to be performing the best at launch, even though they've been working on this game for many years now. I'm at the point where publishers are going to have to prove they have a good game at launch now. I won't just take their word for it. So, this is why I think GeForce Now, especially the Ultimate tier, will take the place of Stadia this time and be the ultimate way to play Starfield. See what I did there? The GeForce Now Ultimate tier is still the best way to play Cyberpunk, especially with the Overdrive mode they recently introduced. If GeForce Now launches the game on day one and performance issues hinder everyone else, the Ultimate tier might be the best way or even the only way to play the game well, just like Cyberpunk did on Stadia. Now we know that Bethesda games are coming to the platform, I hope to God we'll be able to play with the Xbox Game Pass upon release. The Microsoft Store integration needs to happen before then. No one wants to play it through Steam if they don't have to. But the way things are looking right now, that might be a fan chance. Fingers crossed though. With GeForce Now playable on Xbox, this should be the best way to play the game on Xbox as well, through the Edge browser with frames higher than 30. To be honest, I believe most of the cloud should have a winning ticket, but the ultimate tier should be the best by far. Sure, Starfield will be on Xbox Cloud, and I expect it to work, but we'll only get about 30 FPS, just like Council. Boosteroid should definitely have it, but performance might be up in the air. We'll have to see. Nware should probably get it too. Uh, let's not talk about Nware. I think it'd probably play better on Joyarc. Silence, you funny fool! I've had it with your whining and bumbling. Now, I am curious to know how well Starfield will play on Shadow. It should be interesting. Anyway, do you think Starfield will have a good launch with decent performance? Or do you think we're headed for another Redfall cyberpunk fiasco? Let us know in the comments below. If you like my thoughts on the launch of Starfield, give us a like. Also, make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon in the links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe to keep it locked right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle. This is the Black Knight. At least this game will be finished, unlike other space games.